Dear friends, I am B Singh and you are watching Topper Stock. UPSC Engineering Service 2023 result is declared. And now this Topper Stock, the aim is you should know about the Topper's strategy. So today with me is Arunima Bhowal. She has secured All India Rank 14 in Electronics and Telecommunication Engineering. She has done his M Tech from uh, she has done her M Tech from IIT Kharagpur, and she comes from the West Bengal. We would uh, like to know Arunima from you. Ki what what was your strategy of study, and how you prepared, which sources you followed, and what type of challenges you faced? Because many students who start their preparation, they drop their studies in mid, and then they change their goal. But you continued and completed gracefully with the very very good rank, impressive rank, 14 rank. So Arunima, my question to you is that when you started your study and how you continued it again? Yes, sir. Sir, actually, I started my study from the beginning of the year. And uh, since this exam had uh, uh, three steps, preliminary, mens, and uh, interview, <laughs> So I prepared for the every step one at a time. And uh, as preliminary stage has two papers, non-technical and technical, and preliminary is objective paper. So I tried to solve more objective questions for the preliminary. And I tried to follow the previous year question papers to know the patterns, to know the patterns about the questions. And I also uh, attempted a uh, uh, test series for the preliminary uh, to manage the time because the time is a big factor there. And to talk about the men's uh, the clearing preliminary uh, stage, I started uh, preparing for men's examination. And uh, since men's is a subjective paper, so I tried to solve more uh, the question. I tried to solve right more uh, about the questions so that I can manage time and I, my speed increases about the uh, to uh, complete the paper. And uh, uh, I tried to study more about the technical concepts because conceptual thing is more uh, required for the men's paper. I also went for the test series of Medizi that helped me a lot. And uh, for the interview purpose, I say that I took interview guidance program from Medizi, and uh, I tried to uh, uh, learn things uh, from there that how to talk or how to uh, present things or how to talk about technical things. So that was the preparation. In a whole so in, in one go, you have described the complete strategy for prelims followed by mains and then interview. Now, once uh, the students start, from college yes, the sir. first is to identify the source of study so what sources you followed you preferred textbooks or you preferred coaching materials uh so actually i preferred the uh, materials more coaching mm. materials i'll say and the online materials which were available over the internet because mm. uh, i also followed the textbooks for the topics like which topics are important i uh, studied from the textbooks but not at a goal like uh, entirely uh, studying everything from textbooks rather than i followed the notes or internet resources good and uh, for the practice as you told you joined test series so how you improved your speed accuracy and uh, was you confident enough that you will be able to do it in this attempt uh, yes, sir. actually, when I started at uh, first, uh, when I was giving the test uh, for preliminary test, uh, my initially because there is a provision of showing the rank, all India rank there, online test series. So initially, my rank was not that good. Uh, my number, the percentage I was getting there, not that good. But uh, gradually, I improved, sir. Actually, when I started to write the exams, uh, gradually I improved about the rank and uh, speed, sir. Okay. And uh, what about the non-tech? Because electronics is a subject in which gate syllabus and the ES syllabus is much different. Lot of, yes. Not many new subjects like um, basic electrical, then you have the advanced communication, advanced electronics, computer architecture, the material science, these are not in gate. So yes. how you prepared for these subjects? Uh, yes, sir. Actually, I uh, differentiated the subjects like some subject like advanced communication, computer organization and architecture. So some something about these subjects are known to me in my BTEC curriculum. So in my BTEC curriculum, my additional subjects were there and uh, some subjects were there. So uh, from the for the basics, I followed those things. 
and some subjects were entirely new like basic electrical engineering like material science uh, and these things were entirely new so i had to go for the notes i had to go for the online resources sometimes for some topics which are very important i refer the textbooks uh, for these new topics to learn and these to uh, topics uh, i needed time for those topics because those things were new Okay. Do you have any plan of further preparing for UPSC civil service, or now? Uh, no, sir. Right now, I don't have that type of plan. Right now, your dream has come true now. Engineering services, you are selected. You will be joining your job. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay. And how was your interview in the last moment when you went to face this UPSC interview? You was worried about it? Yeah, you were confident. The first day. Uh, no sir i was a bit worried like uh, to uh, appear before the interview panel and to i was a bit tensed when i entered the interview room and but the panel members made me comfortable enough uh, to talk about the things and then they asked me non technical technical uh, they started from the non technical part then they gradually switched to technical and uh, gradually i uh, gathered confidence to answer to face the questions yeah. Do you remember any questions which can, you can share with the audience? Ah uh, yes, sir. I remembered some questions. Like uh, at first, uh, when I entered, uh, they asked me about. Actually, I was from IIT Kharagpur, so uh, they asked me about IIT Kharagpur. Like, uh, what is the placement procedure in IIT Kharagpur? And uh, since I was the placement coordinator, they asked me something about placement. That how the things work, and uh, thereafter, uh, for for the non technical part, then they. Uh, asked something about the power sector of india uh, then they switched to technical things from different subjects one panel members asked me from digital one panel member from communication background so this was the type of discussion anything from your hobby interest extra curricular activities job experience or yeah, something like that no sir for for my case they didn't ask about hobby and mostly subject related areas and application subject related Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Right. You want to give any message to the freshers, those who are preparing? Uh, yes, sir. I just want to say about the freshers that uh, just for to crack engineering service examination, just they should keep their morals high, and they should uh, study uh, sincerely and give their best. That's the key. Nothing else, sir. So give your best, and you will be selected. You you rightly said that. Was just give your best and. Put your yes, most sincere efforts, right? And to whom you would like to give the credit uh, uh, of your support? Because in this preparation phase, a lot of support is required. So, how your parents, friends, or teachers help you? Uh, yes, sir. I uh, received a lot of support from my parents because whenever I feel demoralized, like how to go or how to proceed, since UPSC is not a very uh, easy things to do, they supported me a lot. So I uh, want to thank them from core of my heart. Then I want to thank my friends. I want to thank special mention to Medizi also because uh, when a uh, beat test series or beat interview guidance program, where I am going wrong, uh, guiding me in that way was a big. Uh, Uh, thing obviously so special mention to them also thank you and uh, you made short notes also or you uh, just relied on this uh, conventional notes no sir i used to make short notes about the things and, and what was trick to make short notes uh actually uh, uh in one go when i study something in one go is bit difficult to understand the topic so after revising it two or three times i can get the things that this point or this thing may be important for asking in question for for the question in the paper then i note those things and that uh, for the revision purpose that is very important uh, one day before the exam i can go and revise those things. and if i ask ki describe arunima in one sentence ki what type of person you are what is different in you what is how your personality is different from the other candidates sir i think everyone has something special in their personality to talk about me i think uh, i uh, i have perseverance to uh, go for the things like if it's not done i'll go for it i'll try for it uh, for to up to the end that i have to do that, that great so you finally 
you want the success. You you have that perseverance and continue efforts and that that is very important and that is actually needed for the UPSC exam, be it an engineering service or civil service. So thank you, Arunima. I wish you best of luck for your upcoming career and many, many congratulations on your achievement. My best wishes to you and congratulations to your family members too, to your parents, to your brother, sister, to everyone. Best of luck. Thank you, sir. Thanks a lot.